The problem with HIV and AIDS is that it is so big. Millions of people affected, millions of children orphaned because of this disease. Jane, a church volunteer, told me how she and other team members go out into the local area to give practical support and spiritual encouragement to those affected by HIV. If I can say in my home the HIV has not yet come, it's not easy to understand it clearly. You understand it clearly the day it knocks to your door. My experience, and a lot of the people who go to my church and mm. churches in the UK, mm. HIV hasn't knocked on the door. Mm. So it's hard for people to understand. Mm. We're just off to see a home that is run by children because their parents have both died because of AIDS. OK, boss man, I need you to show me what do I do. Is that good? Right, is that clean? How old are you guys? Seven. As you can see, these are three young lads who, who are on their own, doing their work, doing their chores, fetching water, because they've got to. These little guys here are, are seven, and that's, you know, my daughter's two. That's only in five years' time. Can't imagine her having to fend for herself and not having anybody there to look after her. I don't know about you guys, but... Yeah. It's good to know that Jane and other local church volunteers are looking out for these kids. But HIV and AIDS is not just in Swaziland, it's all over the world. So let's go to Nairobi in Kenya to see what the church is doing in the communities there. <laughs> We are not going to condemn them. HIV is like any other disease. I'm here at a church in Korogosho where every Sunday about 200 people meet. But the interesting thing about this church that on the back of it, it has an HIV testing and counselling centre. Those who come to the centre know that they're in a safe place where they can not only get a free HIV test, but also counselling and acceptance regardless of the result. Wow! Sex! Yeah. There are many ways the churches here reach out to their community. This Christian drama group are taking their message to the streets with a play they've written about how the HIV virus is spread. It gives them the chance to share their faith with other young people and encourage them to make choices that will help stop the spread of HIV in the future. Out of what we are doing through the, the HIV and the VCT services, I would see that really the church has also grown. Now the community, they are feeling this is the right church where to belong to. And beside being tested, they are receiving spiritual encouragement. If the church can accept them, it means also God has accepted them. This is a thriving church full of women who rearrange the seating according to whether they are worshipping or making soap for their small business enterprise. Lucy's husband died a few years ago, leaving her HIV positive and with young children to care for. Cast out by her in-laws and shunned by her community, they were left destitute and alone. My, my family from the, the side of my husband, they said they will never help me with anything. So what is your life like now? Okay. My life, I can say it's better off. Because if we didn't meet the pastor, I don't know where I, I should be. Maybe I, I would have died a long time ago. What's it like being with all these women? Okay, I, I like being with them because they... Okay, 
they like they 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 like me they encourage me and more more for so the salvation i got yeah. lucy's story gives testimony to the hope that jesus can bring through the work of the local church We've been to Swaziland and we've been to Kenya and we've seen the message of hope coming through the local church and that's how Samaritan's Purse chooses to work. We've been on an amazing journey and we've met some remarkable people and the things that we've seen has had an impact on my heart and I've realised that through the local church we can all play a part in bringing new hope to the lives of people affected by HIV and AIDS. Lots of ways you and your church can get involved. You can pray for people in places like Swaziland and Kenya. You can pledge a pound or make a donation to our work. You can throw a positive impact picnic in your community. Or your church or youth group can come and spend time with a community affected by HIV and AIDS. Think there's nothing you can do about HIV and AIDS? Think again. <laughs>